Another big story we're following T minus four hours and counting. Le'Veon Bell has until four this afternoon to report to the Steelers. If he doesn't, he forfeits the rest of the season. It's sure to be the first question lobbed to Coach Mike Tomlin at his weekly press conference, getting underway in just minutes. Rich Walsh joins us live from Steeler headquarters on the South Side. Rich. Well, the Le'Veon Bell is just about over. We have about four hours, a little less than four hours to that four o'clock deadline. If Bell does not show up, he cannot play for the Steelers or any other team for the rest of the season. Now, as of right now, Le'Veon Bell is not here at Steelers headquarters and is not expected to report. The last time Bell was on the field with the Steelers was in last year's playoff loss to the Jaguars, who they will be playing this Sunday. More than likely without Bell, the word from here is that they don't expect Bell to show up today. There are reports out there this weekend that Bell was unlikely to show up. One big reason is because of that franchise tag. It would be around $30 million next year, and Bell and his agent know the Steelers won't tag him at that price, and he would become a free agent and be able to test the market and find out what he is really worth. One thing is for sure, if he doesn't show up, he will never recoup that $14.5 million that he would lose out from this year. He has a few million dollars left, about $6 million if he would report today, and he would lose a year of service if he does not report, and that would affect his retirement. Now, many of the players and team personnel that I have spoke with over the last few weeks, they haven't heard from him. Ben Roethlisberger on his weekly radio, shed, radio show said that if Bell wants to be a part of this team, that he would absolutely welcome him back. But if he doesn't want to be a part of this team, then it's a different story. I know the players would welcome him back if he wants to be a part of this, a part of this team. But right now, you know, maybe the best thing for both parties is to move on. It sounds like a bad marriage right now. And we will continue to update you here at Steelers headquarters if anything changes throughout the day. Four o'clock is the deadline. We'll update keep you updated on Facebook, on Twitter, and at KDK.com. Live from Steelers headquarters on the South Side, Rich Walsh, KDK TV News. Rich